standing for the national anthem of Zambia. National anthems of South Africa and of Zambia who will be the participants in the final match then of the Africa Netball Cup 2019. Good afternoon again and welcome to your world of champions as the players greet each other in the spirit of African unity in the centre of the court before we get in the way with what should be an interesting encounter. Now Kazwe Polia in the gold circle for Zambia, Jere Zulu and Kunda in the middle, Matele and Kapucheni doing the defending for the Zambian side, Banda Pungu Mwale Wanzanawa on the bench for Zambia today. Coached by Pauline Nsombo, and she'll be hoping that can she, that can she do a little bit better than the, just the two victories that Zambia have been able to orchestrate so far, and those victories came against Kenya and uh, against uh, Lusitu. Well, as the South Africans are concerned, a familiar look about the South African side, they put out a strong lineup today in Potri den Stoltz in the attacking circle, Chrysal Lumsomi and Chawani in the middle, and Van der Merwe and Vimbella at the back of the court then for the South African Spa Proteus, coached by Dorette Bonnenost, leaving Berger, Dreyer, Mtembu, Radaman and Renika on the bench then for the South African side. We do anticipate that there is going to be a victory for South Africa today. The sides have met a total of seven times in the past. South Africa 7-0, and oh, no draws, no losses. And the average score between the two sides is 60 goals to 35, which is a 25-goal margin. And I'm sure the South Africa Spark Proteus will want to try and replicate that situation. The last time they met was in Polokwane in uh, the northern part of the country in a diamond challenge. South Africa won by 57 goals to 36. And uh, therefore they'll be wanting to replicate that as well. 7-0 as far as the uh, total amount of matches is concerned. There is Buti Nakazwe. Banda Banda sitting on the bench today. So Nakazwe goes from wing attack. Big and from goal attack to goal shooter as we get underway then. For the final time, it's for the start of an encounter. It is match number 21. South African Spa Proteus in the green and gold. Zambia and in the red. An early chance for Renske Stoltz. There was obstruction though from the goalkeeper, who is uh, Juliet Caputeni. And a little rattler there for Renske. But uh, Renske's on the board, and so are South Africa. And uh, on the board and in the house, in the box, so to speak, Zanella Mdodana joins me upstairs. Zanella, it's been a long week. Outside Has been a long week indeed, there. Kevin, but this is the last game of these championships. Spa Pro Chairs versus Zambia. It's going to be an interesting one here between these two sides. As you said, the coach of the Spa Pro Chairs opting to start with a very strong lineup, taking nothing to chance. Opportunity for Elizabeth Boilia to draw us level and 
quite evident right from the start of the match and if you've uh, been on your world of champions throughout the course of the five days that we've been here since friday last week you will know that um zambia do play the extra ball the proteas will try and get their ball into the circle much quicker than the zambias and expend less energy as bongi and somi nice position from the least and an easy pop-in goal so both of the shooters getting their sights set early for the South Africans bar approaches. Rhoda Zulu playing at shoot at uh, centre court today for the Zambians who made a couple of changes. It's a nice attack from Lucy Jerry. They are going to play the ball Bounce with their short little passes and maybe bounce passes as well. The other side that play in and out of the circle quite rapidly. You'll know that. Zanella Mdodana level at 2 2. Yeah, Kevin, you know, it's something that I really did criticize because the shooters would get the ball, take that giant leap forward and find themselves under the pole but then they wouldn't shoot they were off to play out creating so many other opportunities for the defenders to intercept the ball they're going to be punished by south africa if zambia do that today so south africa leading by three goals to do everything on uh, center pass at the moment kalisa chiwani playing as a wing defense today and uh a little bit of walkabout there from Van der Merwe and Wim Pellen and allows uh, Boalia to get in under the basket. Looks like Boalia is taking most of the shooting at the moment early on for Zambia. Yeah, interesting to find that Diana Banda, who's they've been their main goal, uh, goal shooter, Zambia, sitting on the bench, not getting a starting opportunity in this match. Uh, we haven't seen Nakazwe playing goal, goal shooter for Zambia. She's always been the goal attack, but... Uh, Interesting choice there from the coach, but so far it's going well and for Zambia. Yeah, it certainly is, because they've got turnover ball here and an opportunity to go in front. Luring Beauty Nakazwe outside the circle contact, of the South African defenders. Contact made by Renska Stoltz. Contact, nice kick hands by Rhoda Zulu. And around the, the back of uh, Shadin Van Amova, that was a bit cheeky between the shooters, but Zambia are in front. Yeah, that's the best word you could have used, Kevin. Cheeky indeed. Really unexpected there. They're so unorthodox, you know, they stay creative and they know each other so well, hence they can play those kind of balls. South Africa looking to make amends. Unfortunately, that was short lived into the center. This is it, Hurisol, but uh, as Rhoda Zulu once again. Polia immediately nice. looking towards the edge of the circle. Right. And Sawani guilty of uh, using a, a little bit of a foot. I don't think there was any intention in that. But Gualia will put Zambia up by five goals to three. Zambia's never beaten South Africa. Nice feed by Bongi and Somi. No conversion there. Frisol has been impeded by Zulu. There's lots of space open Contact at the back of the circle, but there's lots of bumping from Kaputeni. I still think that ball can get to Lenise Perfita much faster and quicker. She's got a height advantage um, on Kaputeni and she's Bradley anchoring and holding so strong. Her space is perfectly visible. The feeders just need to have the confidence to just release that ball. Bongi and Zomi. It's a good setup on defense from the Spa Proteus. Closing up space, making sure they're putting that pressure on the attack of Zambia. This is short. No such thing as short. For the Stoltz is shot. She might be not the uh, most tall of players, but she's extremely accurate. And South Africa have turned the ball back over that they lost in an earlier little skirmish. We live it at five ball. South Africa with the first centre pass of the match. Chawani's done well to bat the ball back into play. Just for a moment, there was a hesitation. A play to the whistle is the call. And Stoltz ghosts behind Juliet Caputeni. Pocket has got long arms. So lead them again. Very uncharacteristic for Renska Stoltz to miss that ball right under the pole. Two attempts, couldn't convert, giving Zambia an opportunity now. If they can score this goal to lead six goals to five. Unfortunately, Shadin Farmer has got other plans. There's an injury to the Zambian goal defense. Priska Matele, who might have taken a little knock from Shadine van der Merwe in the side. It almost looked as if she wanted to be replaced. But uh, I think she's going to be okay. I'm just watching her progress across to the far side of the court. And she's actually gone Take off away. the court Take as away. Priska Matele. So at the moment, Zambia playing with six. 
So I'm keeping in mind what Dorette Barnhorst, the coach of the Spa Perch, has said in a pre-match interview contact. that today they really, they, firstly, they're not underestimating Zambia because they know that Zambia is capable of beating the top teams. But secondly, for me, what was key was when she said that they want to keep their conversion rate of turnovers and their over centre passes above 80%. So with all these center passes being turned by Z Zambia, the stats, according to when, when, when it comes to that, are not looking too good at the moment for the Spa Proteus. No, certainly not. Big step forward again by the goal shooters, and that is Elizabeth Bollier, who puts Zambia back in front, and just on the other occasion, those two uh, shot misses by Renska Stoltz, costing South Africa a little bit here, but are the Zambian side going to be able to maintain this pace throughout 60 minutes after having played early today against the City? Don't forget the, on the, top. the match that they were able to claim victory. Throw on. And uh, the score in that encounter was 68 to 32. And we heard from the coach of Zambia in her pre match interview that they planned and prepared well. Um, for to, to play well against the Spa Proteus in this game and I must say so far it's really looking good for Zambia they are a team that has got a plan and they are doing well at the moment to execute it and every time Zambia seem to get themselves uh, a break in the center pass South Africa are able to fight back that is the mark of a champion side and South Africa certainly are a champion side they are the best Outside, on the African continent win. as they've shown with uh, victories yeah. against both of the nearest Imagine rivals in Malawi and uh, Uganda. Gotta be aware of the ball coming in. I'm not sure what Denise Potkita and Bongi and Somi's communication Bongi went awry there. But uh, she's got long arms and she scooped the ball back into play. Potkita maybe a little bit fortuitously, but I think Dorit Bodnost might be a trifle concerned with the start here. But as you say, it's about sustainability. Panamerva with a pickup. Good drive in here by Pochida. If uh, Zambia can play bounce passes, South Africa can do them as well. And that's uh, the result of a nice little interception from the centre pass. And South Africa have a break for the very first time. Zambia read three of them. In fact, I think it's a second. My, my honest opinion. Yeah, and that's the kind of attack I'm looking for. Four. I'm looking Zambia. for from the spa approach here. Nice and smooth. One, two, three. Find the knee spot hitter right under the pole. South Africa winning ball back at will suddenly. Lead by nine goals to six. The damage could be much more in just a moment as Bongi will find Renska. Tries to go over the top. The whistle had gone already. Capoteni almost uh, water are. polo style grabbing that ball. And Renska Stoltz. No, sir. Not happening this time. Into double figures are oh, the spa purges. It's another break. It's two breaks in a row. And um, Somi goes and fetches that one just a little behind her. Chrysal, Stoltz, and that's perfect. Advantage. Spoke about the sustainability of the cause of the Zambians. And suddenly we, we're not seeing that continuity of the, a very bright start. It's only lasted around about uh, eight minutes. Let's see if they can uh, get that back into play again. That's a beautiful pass, rifling it right through the circle. Contact goalkeeper. Good play by Beauty Nokazwe. First goal in a little while for the Zambian side, and it does uh, get the arena a little bit quiet. Another pass that goes awry between Msomi and Potkida, and a good work at the back by Juliet Capuccini. Capuccini is a good player. So I'm trying to figure out what is the Spa Proteas' uh, defensive strategy here Thanks against this contact. really agile, creative Zambian attack. Because at the moment the ball is getting down to the shooting circle way too quickly. I think they need to transition much faster, uh, the spa approaches, from attack to defense. Well, two goals in a row for Zambia. They're on center pass again. They're closing the gap down to the South African spa approaches. Five minutes to play before we get into the first quarter. Four quarters of 15 minutes each in the game of netball. A little bit of basketball from Rhoda Zulu, but a nice uh, touch anyway. Contact, right to goal. And an advantage goal to Beauty Nakazwe. And that gap's down to two. <laughs> 11 goals to nine, 20 goals in the opening quarter so far. 
Little touch over the top, looking one way, passing the other, and uh, high fives between Stoltz and Grissel as Pochetto will pop it in. Zanaviga just continuing to stay in the clear for now, but as you said, let's look how the organization uh, is from the Proteus. I think that's a little better. Shadin van der bottling up the goal attack, Elizabeth Boyle, and the drive then from Kanisa Chawani ensures that the ball and goes clear now South Africa have to hold on to this possession as they use uh, wholly and solely the left hand side I tell you what Capuccini is having a ma fantastic game at the moment Bongi into the midriff of Pogida South Africa with the break back a little bit of ebb and flow in the scoring between these two sides at the moment yeah Perfect release from Bongi Somi. Catching Capitano with her eyes down Love there. Well, we spoke about it earlier. I mean, it's all very well for the Zambians to be playing the way they are at the moment, and it's fine for uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour maybe. But are they able to sustain for an hour the sort of level against the sort of opposition? They are still getting that ball into the circle rather nicely. I'll tell you what, Rhoda Zulu is playing her part well. Oh, I'm impressed with right Makazu in that shooting circle, Kevin. Good work. Three yeah, Lenise caught for a stepping error there by the umpire. And I just think Zanella Bimbel is giving her too much freedom in that circle. She needs to give her one side. Can't have the goal shooter that's so agile caught behind you. And you can't because you don't have eyes behind your back, so on the, on the back of your head. So you've got to be able to, to channel her in one direction and set up an intercept line for yourself. Fans going quiet as the Zambians are knocking another goal again. They turn over the South African ball, and that is because of the stepping error from Potkira. Contesting there from Chrysal as the ball I knocked out of her hand. I fancy it was. That's a good contesting there from Chrysal. That's the advantage of having that height as a, as a wing attack player. South Africa! Stoltz is on fire. She gets that break back almost immediately. South Africa do have oodles of quality about them on the court there's no doubt about that uh, shouldn't be too much in the way of doubt that South Africa will come up with a positive result here offside, offside there on. against Eskita Kunda Stolzen Somi contact again this time from Priska Matele, who didn't go off the court for that injury that she picked Contra up in the contest with Shireen Venomova. And Potkita will pop it in. South what the South Africans uh, want to do is to get the ball into that circle as quickly as possible. Some discussions amongst the uh, fans that have come in to the Belbel Arena Velodrome here today for the final match of the competition. They'll stick around, no doubt, for the awards. And again, the ball far too easily inside the South African defensive circle. It's only a minute to go before we have the end of the first quarter here. It will be interesting to see whether Dorette makes changes and what sort of changes she'll make. Is there a space for um, Monique Reinecker and her foraging? Zambin Bella. No doubt, keep her position. Pochita with a little bit of a miss. That's out of the hands from Capuccini. I seem to have picked up from Coach Dorade Bardenhorst that she's not going to make wholesale changes just for the sake of changing in this game against Zambia. Um, she's going to only make the ones that she thinks will make a difference. You know, I know she'd love to give opportunities to every player, but I, I, I don't think all top players will probably be on court today. Justin Ryan as Chawani comes into contact with Rhoda Zulu and yes, continues Lady to play Fox. well. Chawani then looking for the space. For the moment she was isolated. Shadin van der Merwe will switch play. Potkita looking for options. Finds it in Stoltz. Stoltz ambitious. Potkita will do the tidying up for South Africa and Stoltz again. But the Hooter goes and Stoltz is not pleased but South Africa will still take a five goal lead into the end of the first quarter yeah I, I, not the most convincing display by these that have been spot approaches particularly on the defensive side even on the attack there are errors but it's been a long tournament and if South Africa get back to playing at full capacity I reckon Zambia could be in trouble at the end of the first quarter then South Africa 17 Zambia 12 
maybe not enough conversion of South Africa's own centre path. They were looking for an 80% conversion rate where the South African spa approaches. But um, certainly, I don't think they got anywhere near that. And so 12 goals conceded as well. Where opportunities to score goals. The ball's getting into that circle very nicely. I mean, Akazwe, Boilia, Jerry and Zulu are playing phenomenally well. Nice little pass over there from between Potkita and Stolter. Stolter and Potkita and adding to the score. And a little applaud there. That, uh, Lucy Cherry with Rodo Zulu will continue playing that short game. Now it does appear sometimes as if the Zambian attackers get on uh, the one side of the Protea defence. They're not switching it up enough. But uh, so that Red Bardnost will have an answer to that situation. It is, uh, the Proteus will still lead by five goals. Not a turnover in that uh, first quarter between the two sides. South Africa only shooting at 77, while Zambia shooting at 92%. Rebounds, interceptions, all in favor of uh, the South Africans. And Cecilia Molokwani, the president of the International of Big Upon the African Union, and she's busy with a uh, celebrity shootout on the court. Oh my word, that's a good one. Fans taking his seats once again as we prepare to get underway for the second quarter of this international match, the final match of the African Netball Cup 2019. It is the South African Spa Proteus playing against the Zambian national side. And South Africa suddenly making a whole bag full of changes. So we'll run through that for you. Siggy Berger will come in at uh, goal shooter. Precious and Tembu at wing defence. Uh, looks like the bench is coming into play here. Wing defence. Romeo Dreyer in at centre. Monique Reinecke at goalkeeper. Six changes made all in all. Lefebvre Raderman will come in at goal attack. Uh, we're at the whole bench is on here. So goal attack is Lefebvre Raderman. And Bongim Somi will move to wing attack in the place of Izet Grissel. So, uh, Contact, my goodness me. I think the only player whose place hasn't been taken is... My word, who is it? Sadeem van Amava at goal defence, I think. Otherwise, everybody else has changed. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. Wholesale changes. Uh, I didn't see this one coming then, I must confess. No, I think it's like quite hectic, actually. But it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, so we'll uh, continue to see how this is going to benefit the South Africans. And, of course, the coaches are entitled to make changes whenever they want to. And South Africa have already scored a goal. And... Zambia looking to tie us up at 1-1 in the second quarter. But it's going to be an interesting little test here, I think, for the uh, players that have come back on. Uh, Lefebvre called for a breaking there. Oh, my goodness, Nagazwe. That was beautiful play. Just took Monique Renica out of the shooting circle and quick pivot back. That is also great vision from Jerry. Well, the Zambians coming out and uh, looking quick here at the start of the second quarter, and South Africa having to reorganize this uh, rejigged team. Contact win, penalty. Contact center, penalty. Offside, free pass center. 
And Zambia continue with that short passing game. Let's see if other we can cut it off a little better. Turning it back to the circle. Fanamava went for the interception, didn't get it. Shot from the Kazwe, and suddenly South the gap Africa. is down to three goals. Just like that. Three goals to one in the second quarter for Zambia. It's absolutely wonderful to see the way the, the, the circle of, of uh, Zambia is operating this, at this moment. The creativity, you know, they're confusing the South African defenders. And he's going through the obstruction. Catching them always, you know, flat-footed and it's, yeah. They do this, this style, they play the style of play so well, the Zambians. And they're going to continue to torment the South African spa protests because Sydney Burgers seemed to jump a, just a little bit too early, mistiming that effort, couldn't keep it in play. And Zambia looking to go further ahead. Good work done at the back by Precious Mtembu. And Bongi Msum is away. The Ferbury Riderman in and out with the captain. And the shot for South Africa. It's maybe a little better, but only the second goal of the second quarter. Fans shouting defense, defense. We saw the defense working nicely a few moments ago, but South Africa back up to a four goal lead. The Ferbury Riderman char charging and chasing. The decision has gone the way of the Spa South African protest with the Esther Kunda being called for the challenge on South Africa's uh, goal attack. And then again, Siggy not able to, to, to claim the ball. That's twice in a row. Yeah, and she's indicating to Bongi exactly where she would prefer Bongi to feed that ball, which is fine. We were taught uh, when we were players that the goal shooter is the queen of the circle. Goodness gracious me, that was a good take. And the leap, and the conversion. Well done, Nakazwe. Mm. Thought there might have been a foot on the line, but we can't see through the post. The umpire was right there when he needed to be. And Zambia proving to be rather feisty here. Trail only by three, and again a turnover ball, and again South Africa making mistakes all over the place. much movement all of the time but precious and tembu obstruction there on precious and tembu but that was a good attempt just leaping and jumping about and Contact that's uh, bringing the ball up into the hand of monique reinica plays the goalkeeper today Zambia pull another goal back it's only two goals in it now So the centre pass for the Zambians, they convert this, there'll be only one goal behind. It's got to be of some concern to Doret Bodnar. Yeah, Monique Renico way too far from Nakazwe, giving her too much freedom in that circle. Contact. Contact. South Africa are going to start converting opportunities. Contact. It's not about Contact. only stopping the opposition from scoring. South Africa are going to score goals. They've only scored two in the second quarter completely. We'll make it three in five minutes. Take a lead by two once again. Goal attack! Goal attack! Goal defense! Zambia goal defense. really showing good prowess goal here. Goal defense! Goal keeper! Cut it out up there. I can see it, right? Cut it out. They've done well, have the Zambians. Don't forget they played an earlier game today. They played against Lesotho. So Zambian Bella is back on in the place of Manik Renika. how the containment can happen for the Proteas. So oh, they're shooting so well at the moment, are oh, the Zambian pairing of Nakazwe and Boalia. Now they're really taking it to the spa Proteas. Contact so clinical. The Zambians really making use of their turnovers. The Ferbury backs herself, goes back off the ring. The goalkeeper, Capacheni, coming under scrutiny from Mr. Cetelo. Mr. Lepole, beg your pardon. And Berger will have a chance here, but South Africa are rattled. <laughs> 21 goes to 19. 
lovely into the area. That was uh, certainly uh, a mistake from Zanvin Bella on Elizabeth Bolia. And the Kazu will continue to put the pressure on the South Africans who led by five goals at the end of the first quarter. Goal difference is down to just the one goal. That's a nice speed from Rome Drea to a former teammate at the Flames. And also credit to Lefebvre driving that base with so much speed, just pulling one of the defenders, leaving Sigi one on one. Bongi looking for the interception. Nice hands though from Esther Kunda. Zambia switching. South Africa's defense is a little better now on the transverse line, although there was contact made there. Lovely quick hands by Rhoda Zulu. Contact by Zambimbella. Three, Time! Brilliant, brilliant defence from Zan and Ashadine van Mever. The timing of both they jump, they jumps. Zambia caught for a three second foul ball Center, there. Contact. What a great pass. <laughs> so that would have a welcome break. players are starting to find each other with a little more comfort in the attacking circle and if they can get that sorted out it's one part of the court sorted out it's the other side of the court that needs to be sorted out a little more no doubt that that'll happen Bongi putting a lot of pressure on Lucy Cherry and Rhoda Zulu the problem for one of the Zambian players Uh, seems to be a bit of an ankle for the player that's moved off. Might have been just a little bump, but the ankle went over. I think that was the problem. It's Rhoda Zulu who's gone off. Center quickly. So a new center court player on. How does that uh, enhance or disrupt? The centre court play of Zambia. Well, immediately the ball's been given away to South Africa, so maybe it's more a case of disruption. Shireen van Amerva, Bongi, oh, lovely hesitation, and then the, the placed ball in, and the balls are getting better, but it's a different kind of ball that Bongi and uh, Sigi are, are sharing at the moment because it's, it's going into the midriff. It's not this high over ball that uh, Sigi's having to reach, or not that she can't reach. I agree with you, Kevin, there, because she's reinvented herself there, Sigi. You can't lose two over balls consecutively and then not change it up. So she's getting, she's placing her goalkeeper right at the back so she can get that strong midriff pass from Williamson. Sigi contacting with the goalkeeper, Juliet Capuccini. Opportunity for Zambia to score the first goal in a little while. Those one-handed shots, nicely yeah. taken by Beauty Nakazwe. That's a broken centre pass okay. from, from Zambia. And this is what I was saying in the first quarter, Coach Red says she's looking at the team. Really, they turn over percentage, be at 80%. And just the clinical play when it comes to their own centre passes. They need to go and convert those, those centre passes. Precious and Timber did brilliantly well on that occasion. The conversion comes to justify the hard work that she'd done in the middle of the court. Van is obstruction centre. Van is contact wing defence. Two for two for South Africa. Suddenly just inking out a little bit of daylight. Six goals now, which is the highest it's been for a little while. Actually, that Orient Mwanza is the player that's come on for Rodo Zulu in the centre court. For the Zambian side, Rhoda Zulu picking up that knock. Twist an ankle. Yeah, it has been a long tournament, so these sort of things happen. But South Africa suddenly just pulling a little bit of daylight between well, themselves well, and their opposition. Well, it's five goals at the end of the first quarter. It's six goals now. The defense working a little better for the South Africans' well, 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 Starts in the center circle. Starts when the ball's turned over. Starts from a center pass. The defensive structure. Shadin van Unlucky for Precious. Yes. 
Sanele Vumbele responding there with her lover. She's doing it with a smile. Keep up on it is very hot impact. in that Zambian way. shooting circle. Well, they've missed the opportunity and Contact certainly there must be contact penalty. from Elizabeth Boyle here. Turnover ball, Zanvin Bella, bounce pass. Almost a scrum off, rugby pass from Zaz to Panamava. That's a bit better. We haven't seen an over ball like that for a while. And it just went slightly over the top of the head, just behind the perpendicular on the Siggy Berger. But Berger makes it count anyway and South Africa have another break. Oh, flag, flag, Berger's off too. And that was an offside call. Seaborg saw me telling her troops, let's close it down, girls, let's close it down. Nice so again, the defensive once again, having to do a little bit of tidying up. Just haven't been absolutely precise in different parts of the circle. And again, the ball getting in too easily to Beauty Nakazwe. Nakazwe not missing too many. Zambia. As, uh, Zambia get up to 22. That's a break in the center pass. They trail by six. It's gonna arguably get less than that in the moment. Nakazwe with a lot of movement out wide. The new center court play, Oriental Wanza. Contact, the that's That's contact from Pisca Matele. Contact goalkeeper, penalty. Contact by Zandim Bala. That's the goalkeeper. South Africa! But just as South Africa look as if they're going to run away with things. Zambia come back and South Africa continue to make little mistakes. They only lead by five. Adventures from Rome, and it's not the shot taken first time by Siggy either. The Ferbi Radamando will comply. It's been a very consistent tournament with championship score of Ferbi Radamando. She came into, into the Spa Proteus, had her first cap against the Sutu in that first encounter, and she's just been on the roll, Contact growing with penalty. every game. They must have been pretty close to not only three seconds, but a step in error. It doesn't matter anyway, because uh, Zambin Bella will tidy up underneath the uh, ring. Siggy did well, but uh, Msomi did better. South Africa with a quick turnaround and the break, and uh, they're up to 30. Things starting to come together. Put over the line. No, it's just uh, Contact. A further away than that. Yeah. Contact on Siggy Berger. Win, I thought that was a stepping area before the contact came from Bongi Somi. But nonetheless, it was offside on the edge of the circle contact. as well. From the Zambian centre, Oriental Monza, the goal counts. Zambia. Teddy goals to 24. This is good play from Zambia. Quick balls South into Africa. that shooting circle, just catching our defenders flat footed and they their eyes down. Only 22 seconds before we get to the half time. Toby Rodeman not able to convert that opportunity. It's a penalty though. So converted the second time of asking. And the South African Spa Proteus have to defend for seven seconds here or thereabouts if they're going to take a, a six goal advantage. and. Uh, into the second half and a one goal win in the second quarter alone and there we go the hooter for half time and 31 goals to 25 i don't think that was on the script quite for direct part no so maybe we'll see some more changes coming from dot uh, to the half time break it uh, has been a torrid and a half for the proteus but i must say you've got to take your hand up to the zambian side of come on doesn't every single side on the African continent come out and play this sort of way when they play against the South African Spa Proteus? So the South African Spa Proteus leading over Zambia at half time by a six goal margin.
So we welcome you back. It's half time at the Belleville Velodrome, the final match of the Africa Netball Cup for 2019. South Africa against Zambia, first on the log, against fifth on the table. And Zambia giving South Africa a hard time. Their ball is just getting propped into that South African defensive circle with uh, consummate ease as it has been the entire match. South Africa at some times just seeming to struggle to find their range with the passes inside their own attacking circle. Started getting better towards the end of the second quarter, but absolutely work still to be done. But uh, when you have passes like that, just getting down towards Nakazwe and uh, Boilia with that sort of ease, then uh, there's a little bit of work to be done because it's not just about the edge of the circle. It's about cutting the thing off from the center third. And I'm sure that some work has got to be done as far as that's concerned. I'm sure that Tourette will be addressing that situation in the dressing room between the two sides um, during the half-time chats. But uh, so far, Zambia doing very little wrong at the moment. They're defending nicely. They certainly, they're attacking brilliantly. And uh, Lefebvre Radom and Soli Bacholi getting into the game as is Siggy Berger managed to sort out her uh, feeding situation between herself and her captain, Siggy Berger, which seemed a bit wayward at the beginning of the quarter when Siggy Berger was brought on as one of multiple changes made by Dorette Bardnost, who brought on Monik Renika, Radovan, Tembu, Dreyer, Berger, the whole bench, but then uh, took off Renika again and brought on Zanvin Bella as uh, the goalkeeper. South Africa winning the quarter by 14 goals to 13 after having the first one won by 17 goals to 12. South Africa shooting a little bit better now, both shooting at 86%, the two shooting combinations. Rebounds and interceptions in, in favor of South Africa, as are the turnovers, but it's still a very, very tight match indeed. Siki Berger is nine years younger than Beauty Sakazwe, no, not Kazwe, and she's a heck of a lot taller than her as well. And Berger shooting at 100% once again, seems to do that with great regularity. Beauty Sakazwe at 83%, but, uh, Tell you what, that moving circle is phenomenal. Well, welcome you back to the Belleville Velodrome. We uh, are watching at the moment the South African Spa Proteus having a bit of a tough time against the Zambian side. 
And I can tell you that at the start of the third quarter, which is so crucial in the game of netball, a couple of changes from South Africa have brought back Lenise Potrita at goal shooter and brought Monique Renneke in at wing defence in the place of Precious and Tembu, who had in turn taken over from Kanisa Chavani. Zambia. Nice start for Lenise Potrita, South Africa lead by seven and uh, Zambia have seen the recovery of that little ankle twist from Rhoda Zulu as she comes back into the lineup in the place of Orient Mwanza. So, half an hour remaining in the tournament before we get to the post-match presentations and the like, but hmm, there's still a bit of work to be done by South Africa here. Zanelle Mdodana. Yeah, I think the changes that have been made by coach Dorit Badenhorst are, are good ones. She needs that stability in the shooting circle and Lenise Bortlet who definitely brings that and I love the fact that she's brought in Monique Reineke because for me she's really a str other strong goal defence or strong wing defence. So that, that's a nice trio there on, on, on the defence for the Spa Proteas. Easy pickings, that's exactly how it should be, that's how smooth the, the Spa Proteas attack should, should operate. Zambia! Two goals in quick succession for the South Africans to lead by seven, but they still batting to cut off that very brisk attack. attack from the Zambian side. Well, attack. Move back. Ferbi Radovan offers her apologies. He's uh, out of play on the centre circle. Reineke misses the pick up. Zambian Bella goal attack. loses goal her attack. balance. Contact. Another penalty goal for attack. Zambia. In fact, it's gone the other way. I do beg your pardon. So Vimpella, and I, I think the Zambian uh, shooters uh, looked a little perplexed at that decision. Potkid is not worried about who's perplexed and who's not. Yeah, they're asking all sorts of questions, and the spa protests are just continuing. As you should, play to the whistle. Stick to the regime. Dreyer to Radaman. Goal. Zambia! take every opportunity the use of every opportunity South Africa now with the lead of nine Suddenly going to make a little bit of difference good foraging there from yes wing defense the center court player Roma Dreyer some more convincing start from the spa proteas in this third quarter the championship quarter excellent from Zanele Vimbele taking that rebound things are not really looking good for the Zambian side now we, we did ask the question during the first half about the sustainability of playing the way they were playing for a whole hour. We know that South Africa are capable of playing their style South for Africa. an hour. Andre Zambia is able to keep up the sort of pressure we saw placed on the South Africans for an hour. Well, South Africa are now out to a 10-goal advantage. It's bound to get even worse than that. Bongi looking for all the Furby's being muscled out of contention here. By the goal defence, Priska Matele. And Potkita will say... Thank you, well. Zambia. Yeah, the fire. Strong there. She just dusts herself off and continues with the business of the day. Reineke foraging on the edge of the circle. So is Dimitria. And good work done again by Zanvin Bell. I thought she almost had that one twice. What I must say I'm impressed with though is that Shadine and Zan have picked up now that the, the uh, Zambian shooters, once they take that step forward, they're not necessarily going to shoot. So they've got to be aware of that pass and they're picking it up now. So players are quickly reading the game and adapting. This all over to Pakira, former teammates at the Northern Karting Jaguars, coached by the highly successful Jenny Van Dijk. Will play in there between Jerry and Elizabeth Boilia. Boilia off to Jerry once again. Rhoda Zulu always in contention. Look how much work Elizabeth Boilia is doing around the edge of the circle. Look at that little launch, but as you said, quite clearly right there. Contact center. She jumps towards the post. She does uh, Beauty Nakazwe. Doesn't take the shot. Plays the ball out of the circle. Can be quite uh, disorienting for the defense. Full on center pass at the moment. Break on the line by Zambia. Come this is Reineke. Hasn't had too much of the ball so far, but she's uh, covering very much a defensive role. Nice in out. Like between Potkita and Dreya. And uh, yeah, South Africa's thought process is a lot better. The organization's a lot better. The drive up towards Potkita is a lot better. And they're finding Potkita quite comfortably here are the Spa Proteas. They lead by 11. That's the end of 
it was a step forward so Zambian Bella was quite within her right to stand where she was unfortunately she couldn't bat the ball away to a teammate the bench of the Zambian side Banda Bunga and Wale and Wanza Nawa waiting for an opportunity to get the call from the coach Pauline and Sombo Nice one, Potki there. Sticks out a long arm and Zambia. pops it in. Goal number 40 for the Southern Spa Proteas. And Spa Proteas doing a good enough job here at the moment to make the coach comfortable with the changes that she's invoked. And Somi and Panamava share congratulations for potting that ball out of court. That's the benefit of having a Arianica and Shadeen van Merwe right on that transverse line Mark, on goal defence and wing defence because they really contest that centre pass. Yeah. They're shutting down the wing attack and goal and a wing defence of Zambia. So that centre pass literally needs to go to the back players for Zambia. Mm. Well, they use the extra pass around the edge of the circle. Now they're using the extra pass as well around the edge of the centre third, which does make things That's a bit easier win, for these South African spot approaches. Contact made by the wing defence, Esther Kunda. Again, that straight ball down the D to uh, Elise Podreda, working comfortably. We saw that uh, in the previous quarter, working nicely with Sigi Berger. 11 goal cushion staying quite in operation, but all of a sudden it is the Zambians who have stolen possession. Got the long, thank you very much, Mr. Bimbella. Just done brilliantly well. Fans love that as well. Didn't you like that? It's yeah, pretty cool, though. Brilliant. Obstruction, goalkeeper, goal defense, pass Read short. that well, took a clean Zanele Bimbele. Yeah. Well, Africa will relish in a bit of daylight as there's the break in the center pass. And Bimbele, as she did um, in the previous couple of encounters, we saw her working hard against Malawi and. Uh, against the Ugandan side. Oh, a little bit uh, look one way past the other, but uh, he passed the other way. And he went as far as uh, Julian Capuccini. And uh, a bit of an error from the South African captain, but... It's Lansing, goalkeeper! Zambia still Top fighting the hard here. The trail by 12. Inside. Oh, she's picking up these bounce balls. Zanella Limbele. I'm really impressed with the way She's just being so creative in that circle. Because Zambia is not going to play differently. That's what they do. That's what they know. You know, so they're going to keep playing like that. And the fact that she's picking it up, you would expect Zambia to change it up. Van is going to attack the Almost so that immediately South Africa have a break. Zambia break right back. And that uh, always is a sign of a confident team. Again, South Africa forcing the uh, Zambians back into the centre third. Hard work being done by the returnee Rhoda Zulu. Zulu again with a pass. Bounce pass, Reinika with the intervention. Wow, I thought that was uh, well done by South Africa. Ryan is contact wing defence and offside. They shoot well, they convert the opportunities nicely to Zambia. And they've pulled it back to a 10 goal cushion so that advantage that South Africa had briefly you know, with the 11 12 goal cushion has dissipated oh, Rodeman impeded by Prisca Matele Zambia that is breaking defense goal attack contact back on the ball by Leverry Rodeman on a small ball Nicely kept in play as well by Monique Renica. Quick uh, to turn up the field of play as well, Mental up the court. Rodeman. There's the break. Uh, South Africa will have to see if they can retain possession and contain the opposition side. 44 goals to 32. William Sumi called for contact there. Move forward. She's in disbelief. Bring attack. Bring attack. Move forward. Right Already 77 penalties in the match. It's a lovely feed by Rodus Zulu. Yeah, should in front of wasn't expecting that ball coming to the circle. Something different from what we've seen from Zambia throughout this game. They're not playing right, didn't play right to the circle's edge and a trillion balls. 
He fitted right almost from the transverse line. Dreyer with a pickup. Finds Reinecke and then a quick launch. Oh, that's a nice little cheeky back backhanded move from Lins Porcher. She must have heard the call from Dreyer. And uh, the teams exchanging breaks in centre pass. It doesn't appear as if Madame Bardenholz is too impressed at the moment. Potgit is shooting at 95, which is impressive. Bounce pass to Lefebvre. It's a good one. No touch on the ring. It's a bottom beggar for the South African new pot. 46 goals to 33. South Africa doing just enough now to steam ahead. South Africa in control of this one for the moment. Uh, it's a good play again, and Venomova was left outside of the circle just for a moment. 47 to 35. Contact goalkeeper, goalkeeper, sorry, you have to Where you are? Zambia. Well, South Africa doing just enough actually at the moment. There's three minutes to go before the end of the third quarter. And the South Africa lead by 13 goals. The ball still may be getting into that circle too easily. But just look at that little ghosting in once again. taking their time to get the ball organized to big step Do forward step he's stepping forward he's stepping into somebody else's space she steps forward but then passes to her teammate doesn't want to take that shot giving the spa approaches too many opportunities to possibly intercept Zambia. Nalo Iguicho. Contact the crowd the is up, singing in a jovial mood. And it's a good one as well for the fans. Turnover ball for South Africa once again with Bongi. Goal number 50 upcoming for the February. South Africa leads by 14. And that sort of leading to the final quarter is crucial. Thank you, take more time. Opportunity for Nice Potkida. Zambia. Advantage breaking. Man is obstructing goal attack. That's, That's good it. defense from uh, Monique Reinecke. Strong take on that. I really enjoy her in this position. Far better than I do on goalkeeper. Potkina looking more and more comfortable, South Africa lead by 52 goals to 36 and uh, has resistance Rams been broken of the Zambians who haven't scored for some time now. Zambia! Break win defence! All time, goal defence. Time called. Goal defence, Prisca Matele seems to have an issue. Only 40 seconds away from the, the break. Goal defence. Switch it over. Press properly.
Go defense! Go out! Go out! Go out! Go out! Go out! Quickly! Inside! Away! So the restart finally! Still a venomous passing from the Zambian side. Playback from Elizabeth Boilia. The defence is so much better. Good driving at the back by Zambian Bella. There was contact made by her. There's such a lot of hard work yes. being done between her and Shadeen Fanamaba. Will be a goal for Nakazwe. But uh, the end of the court is imminent. Can Drea get it in towards the shooters? Can they? Able to get the score before the Hooter, Icona. So this African Spa produce, I think, will be a lot happier with the situation as they've found themselves. And at the end of the third quarter, it's 53 to 37 in favor of the South African Spa Proteus. And I'll be very, very happy with that situation. Well, South Africa doing a lot better in the third quarter, winning it by 22 goals to 12. 10 goal margin has given them a nice little setup for the final quarter because they do lead by 16 goals and quite ordinarily difficult to uh, break 15 times during one quarter so South Africa very much in the ascendancy as far as trying to close out this encounter is concerned and congratulations to the South African Spa Proteus for being able to hold back under probably difficult conditions Out of the tape there, 91% shooting goal average for South Africa, 86 for Zambia. It's pretty impressive on both of the two sides. Plenty of penalties in the match, turnovers, pretty interesting. And interceptions in favour of the South African team. We're on the brink of picking up an important victory. So the goal attack comparison. Just two years difference between the two sides. So will be a little bit taller than her opponent as well. Shooting at 100% and Polly not far behind. So a little discussion between Berger and her teammates. Lise Potkida. So the fans that have come into the stadium seem to be pretty upbeat about the prospect for South Africa today and there's never reason to believe and having won the third quarter by 10 goals that uh, could be a situation they will continue to take advantage of and every reason to believe why not. High fives from the South African side. Looks as if we have some changes. We'll keep you informed about uh, what the changes are going to be in fact there's changes for the Zambian side who uh, put Juliet Caputini on goal defense so underway then for the final quarter 
of the African Championship for 2019. South Africa. South African Spa Proteus doing enough. One would think with a lead of 15, that would be enough to see them through and to pick up the trophy as winners. And on the undefeated side as well in the tournament. Yeah, just a single change from the Spa Proteus in this last quarter and final quarter of this tournament. See Casey Chawane on the wing attack position. Fifty-four to thirty-eight in favour of these South African Spa Proteus. Instruction goalkeeper, man is goal. Another goal for the South African Spa Proteus. Fifty-five to thirty-eight. Advantage not behind the line. Winner take. Goal attack. Contact. Contact. A turnover ball here for the Zambians. It's going to be a big need for plenty of turnover ball if they are to cause anything of an upset in this encounter. Zambia. They do work that ball, still continuing to do that with great ease. I can tell you, as I said, Juliet Capuccini then to goal defence. The new goalkeeper is Kalonda Wale. So, no place for Piska Matele in the final quarter of this tournament. South Africa. South Africa have gone with the uh, same lineup. That has uh, stood them in good stead Man so far. Wing defense are offside. Here's goal attack. The Ferry Rodeman. Man is offside. Dre advantage uh, to defense. offside. The Ferry Rodeman. Has uh, been made contact with as well by the new goal defence, Juliet Capoceni. Stinks the shot. South Africa lead by 16. Throwing. They're going to want to finish strong here, the Spa Proteas. Good pressure being applied already. Structure goal defence, the van is marking off court here. Well, that is good from the South Africans. He's looking to make it count, looking to bury the opposition. Don't forget the average scoreline between these two sides is 25. We're on a 17 difference at the moment with South Africa in possession. Andrea to Lefebvre Rademan. Chawani is now in a wing attack position in the place of Bongi Msomi. And his break on attack. Yep, that's good pressure from Zanele Vimbele. Nakazwe there called for a stepping error. So Chawani comes back into play as a wing attack then. Shadeen van der into wing defence in the place of Monique Reneke who goes back to goal defence. Other than that, the team very much stays the same. So just positional switches and then that one change with Bongi Msobi not uh, participating in the final quarter here yet for the South African Spa Proteus who lead by 59 goals to 40 and when that is uh, tide is certainly switched in favour of the South African side right now. It's brilliant for Shots Monique Reineke. See there's a bit of a, a change there from Coastal Red Partners. Shadim on wing defence, yes. Monique on goal defence. Yeah. Called by Juliet Capitelli. The flow of goals from the Zambian seems to have slowed down as well and South Africa able to exploit the tiring Zambian outfit, Lefebvre Rodeman with a conversion, 61 goals to 40, average score of 25 between these two sides over now eight international matches and it's all working out rather better for Dorette than we hypothesized at the beginning, well <laughs> certainly after the first quarter and that half time. Goals in quick succession, South Africa dominant. Now, Sambia not having an answer for what the Spa Proteus are dishing out outside. in this last outside. quarter. Outside. Complete focus. 
on the attack and really South solid Africa. defense there. We're seeing everybody playing their role and part. And there are going to be goals that will come for Zambia. But over the lead of 21 and only 10 minutes remaining, it's not impossible but inconceivable. And South Africa will drop the ball here. Toby Roderman will lead the ball to Liz Potkida underneath the basket. Much easier for a goal shooter of her height. 63 goals now. Just looking outside our commentary box, we, box, we're seeing Siggy Berger, Izef Kissel, Renska Stoltz, and Precious and Tembu stretching, warming up. The question is, are, is the coach going to bring them on Points court just to close off this game? Because Bongi is still on the bench, so okay. she's definitely not going to be coming on. Probably a little cameo roll towards the end, just to end the tournament on a positive note for the players. It's a oh, positive reinforcement, go. belief from the coach. There is uh, Precious and Tembu. Had a lovely chat with her. And Zambian Bella who meets at Chawani at the pool before I came to the stadium this morning and they were getting ready, doing some psychological preparation. The Ferby Roderman, cool, calm and collected. Spanish break, goal attack, contact. Contact, goal attack, penalty. Contact might buy Ferby, she does have a fair share of contacts as well, doesn't she, from a defensive point of view. As soon as she turns around, it's something that she's got to work on. There's always something to work on, and that's uh, a thing for the Ferry Riderman. Uh, we're not able to pick up that loose ball. That's a wonderful shot. So far, from Peter Time for his table goal shooter injury. So changes for the South African side, and uh, yeah, Siggy Berger looking to come on. Well, there's a whole bunch of them coming on. It's uh, all changed, ladies and gentlemen. Chris will come on at centre. Good confirmation of all of that. But <laughs> Giovanni stays at ring attack, and uh, the new goal attack is Renska Stoltz, who started the match at goal attack. She's back at goal attack. Siggy Berger's on at goal shooter, so that's a different combination, and uh, just uh, an opportunity to have a run before the tournament reaches its finality. Don't forget at the end of the match, we're, which is only eight minutes away, we'll have a trophy presentation, Janine van der Merwe sweeping. Van is off side centre. I was over there. I oh, see Crystal looking at the umpire like, excuse me, are you just not going to blow for that? Once again, advantage contact with Pop Strong play, play around the edge of the circle by the Zambian okay. side. Lucy Cherry has done hard work the entire match so far and presses some timber out of position. Surely that's going to be a handling error oh. and uh, diving into the play there. That's wonderfully done by Zanvin Bella. How about that from Zanvin Bella? You see that one dives across the court, full length on her side, taps the ball against Bernie the foot of the attacker, of gets the, the put in from the back, of the, from the back of the court. I love her, the way she plays her. Talk She's about contact. Yes, putting her body on the line. It's all or nothing for Zanvin Bella. But six minutes, six and a half minutes Advantage. left of this match and of this tournament. Well, they're looking to put Brandy the hammer score. down. They put the hammer down in the second half of this match without exception. And with all the changes that have come in as well, South Africa really doing a brilliant Penalty. job here. It's a strong pass from the edge of the circle. Goal for the Zambians though. Takes off to. 45, but with six minutes remaining, still 21 goal difference between the two teams. Swinging out from just on the right hand side of our com box. 
once again it is Zambia who will score goals, but uh, yeah, it's one for you, one for me at the moment. And South Africa winning control of the matter here. Wind attack contact. Contact made by Kanisa Chawane. Does happen uh, every now and again for Kanisa, but uh, South Africa foraging hard to try and win possession back here towards the end of the match. What vision is this from Zambia? Ghosting Zambia. into that shooting circle, Bola. Brilliant, brilliant feed. So trying to get the difference under 20 minutes. There's no chance that Zambia can win this match. They certainly are going to leave South Africa with a massive South Africa. load of followers with the way that they've conducted themselves, the way they've played on the court and today against the South African spot protest again a side that stepped their game up. Nice hands between Chawane and Lefebvre Rodeman who are provincial teammates. Right is on. Do beg a pardon. Sixty-eight to forty-eight. Advantage contact Fans win. Fans waiting in anticipation of the final hooter, which is four minutes away, and still the unorthodox play from the Zambians. We anticipated this throughout the course of the tournament. We're seeing it in bucket loads in this match, and Pauline and Sombo's side, so unorthodox, so unpredictable, and so successful. South Africa. So successful indeed, Kevin. Spring, Same on. script. They just change the timing. They just keep the defenders thinking the whole time Golden sack, take it around for me yes Kanisa Chawane working hard for South Africa well again there's turnover ball for the Zambians and again a little look from Sigi Berg over towards uh, Dorit and Dumi Dumi probably the better one to give that sort of advice. But Zambia have done well to cut the, the uh, lead of South Africa under 20. And uh, there should be another effort here from Sakaswe out of the hand from Shadeen. That's oh, Monique playing a goal defense. Zambia. So another goal then. Up to 50 for the Zambian side. Advantage Fans momentarily go a little bit quiet in front of us. Not going to make any difference really to the scoring by the end of it. Yes, there won't be a 25 goal average South score Africa. victory for the South African spa purchase, but we still lead by 17. Brandon's wing defense contact. Whistle, Chawani. Contact. Goalkeeper. And uh, while they work hard in the attack, they're working just as hard in defense as Zambians. I'm very impressed with the Zambian side. They really, really do put it out there, don't they? Absolutely, Kevin. That's Bring what the coach says. So they plan. They, they've got a strategy. They've got, they've got a plan against the spa frontiers. Yeah, I must say that you know, for most of the game, they really were doing well. There were pockets and moments where they would let it slip. Could be fatigue or lack South of concentration, but definitely with a minute, 50 seconds left of this game, they are really in, in it, all out. Pass, and uh, it's a lovely switch from is it Grisel? So South Africa matching the Zambians uh, one goal for you, one goal for me at the moment. South Africa up to 70, and not much time remaining here at the Belleville Velodrome in what has been a tremendous tournament over five days. South Africa starting well, as a good sweeping there again from Nick Reinicke, who is actually turning into a fabulous international netballer Brandon after being brilliant in her franchise and a conversion for Ziggy Berger fans are asking for the, for the match to stop this limited to go another presentation it's uh, a break for South Africa and for the conversion to take South Africa back up into a 20 goal advantage which will be uh, pleasing for the coaching staff I'm sure One must commend Zambia for the way they've approached this encounter. When you score 52 goals and you're losing, you know you're up against a better opposition. And all the time, Reinicke and then Pella! really snatches that one away from Elizabeth Boilia. Uh, are playing phenomenally. 
South Africa. Good goal. Goal number 53 then for the Zambians. And probably not much uh, time remaining for the South Africans to score a goal. They'll know that as well because on the bench they get the indication of uh, how much time is remaining. And this is going to be a penalty. So even if the hooter goes now and the penalty is sunk, then the goal will count. Renska Stoltz, no pressure really. Misses the shot. And the hooter goes. And that's a bit unfortunate for Renska. But hey. You know, that's the way things go sometimes. South Africa then victorious. It was very, very tough during stages of the encounter. But at the end of the day, a solid performance from the South African Spa Proteus. They were really put to the task. But uh, they kept on scoring goals. They kept on keeping the opposition at bay. And they keep on keeping on to the South Africans. Not one quarter won by the Zambian side, although the second quarter was close at 14 to 13. And I think Torrid Bardinal still has some work to do as far as consolidating the protest, particularly against an unorthodox side like the Zambians. And let's take a hat off for the Zambian side as the two teams get together in solidarity. And uh, it really is a situation where I think the South Africans will be absolutely delighted at the final reckoning. So the final score then, South Africa beating Zambia by 72 goals to 53. And the home fans will be absolutely delighted with that situation. And the scoreline, yes, there were some hairy moments when South Africa led only by six goals at halftime. But the second half, South Africa piled on all manner of pressure. And when you win by 72 goals to 53 and you win the final quarter by 19 goals to 16, and the second half by 41 goals to 28, then uh, you know you've done a pretty good job in the second half of the match. The goal shooting percentages 90 and above, which is very, very impressive indeed. But uh, the South Africans dominant in a lot of areas. Uh, unorthodox from Zambia, very effective indeed. And congratulations to the South Africans for winning the African Netball Cup. Only side that's gone unbeaten throughout the course of the tournament. So they'll be happy with that situation. And there's no doubt there's plenty more to come from the South African Spa Proteus who will be in preparation for the touring England side when uh, England comes to these shores in about a month's time. The first half of the match, much more tight than the second half, 17-12 and 14-13, the opening uh, scores in the quarters. 22-12 in the third quarter was when South Africa drove away from the Zambians. And then 19-16 in the final quarter. Uh, giving South Africa the advantage by 19 goals by the final reckoning. Zambia's an orthodox player around the edge of the circle, something to behold. And they were trying to do that in the defensive circle as well against the likes, particularly of Siggy Berger, who they were trying to get under the skin off. But once Denise Potkita was on the court, things settled down to a great degree. She played in the third quarter. She played a part in no uncertain terms. There were good debuts at this tournament for the likes of Leferbi Rademan and Monique Reinecker, who uh, held themselves uh, in very good stead amongst the stalwarts of the South African Spa Proteus side. And uh, no doubt that South Africa is in good hands, and hopefully that'll continue over the years. A bit of a loose ball on that occasion for the Zambians, who managed to steer it away from the South African Spa Proteus defence. And the shot came from Butina Kazwe for uh, the... Uh, Effort to be taken to 53 for the Zambians. There were substitutions that came in in the final quarter for the South African Spa Proteus. And uh, the reintroduction of Renska Stoltz and uh, Monique Renica going back to goal defence. Jadine Van Uwe at ring defence. And Vim Bella played the whole match at goalkeeper, except for a spell when Renica was playing there. Shawani went from wing defence to wing attack, which is something we see quite often. Chrysler from wing attack to centre. But uh, yeah, the Spa Proteus doing a good job today. And they go six for six as far as the tournament is concerned and win comfortably above Malawi, Uganda, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Kenya and Lesotho. Now there's the tail of the tape again. The uh, goal shooting percentages impressive. The rebounds, interceptions and turnovers all in favour of the South African Spa Proteus. Zambia are a difficult side. South Africa stood firm and won by 19.
So the discussion continues out on the middle of the court, but uh, Andy Mahamba trying to gather the troops and garner everybody that's supposed to be involved in the presentation uh, party. Well, that happens with our floor manager. And Andy Mahamba will take us through this uh, proceedings and we'll be on standby upstairs. Thank you very much to Kevin Evans and Zanilem Dotan. Well, that's how we wrap things up then in terms of the Africa Nepal Cup 2019. We are just about ready to start the post-match proceedings, but it is uh, the South Africans that will be lifting the trophy very shortly as we do uh, introduce uh, some of the dignitaries that are here. But before I do so, we're going to have a chat with uh, Dorette Badenhorst, who is uh, the coach of the Spa Proteus, to just get her thoughts on how the team has performed this far. So uh, let's uh, then uh, walk on over to the coach, uh, Dorit Badenhorst. Coach, of course you said you had a, a number of objectives for this game. Looking at how it started, the number of turnovers you had and centre passes, which was what you were trying to guard against, are you at least happy with how it ended? Um, yeah, certain goals, like I said, the first quarter we had brilliant turnover and um, we took the, them through and made them goals. But um, you can't um, win one and a quarter with one and the next one with ten. So not a happy coach. Um, I think um, we can really do better than that. Um, third quarter is now suddenly our best and the others are struggling with. But yes, um, I'm proud of them, but a lot of work. Um, there's really a lot of work and we need to get things um, right before we play against England. Yes, there isn't that much time uh, before that England test. But just reflecting on your new caps then, Monique as well as Lefebvre, happy with their performance in this test? Yes, um, yeah, Lefebvre is an excellent player. She um, played um, in my under-21 team as well for South Africa and um, just a great creative player, um, a perfectionist in everything that she's doing and you can see it on court as well. So just bring that extra energy um, and made a brilliant um, she just played brilliant this whole week. So, um, yes, and Monique, um, also a youngster with a lot of talent, a great player, um, also one of my Sony 21 players. And I think that both, both of them will have a great future um, forward. And looking ahead to England then, what are you hoping to work on here? Not too much time to, to fix. So what, what's going to be the one takeaway from this one? Yes, definitely we will work on combinations. Like I said, um, Bo haven't played a, next to Lefebvre a lot and um, she's struggling to feed Ziggy. So um, it's uh, things that we need to sort out first, first line-up combinations so that we make sure that this is our combination when we play a certain um, against a certain team and against a certain um, player. So for us, it's combinations. You know, Pums are coming back, but Carla still not back. So again, another combination in the defensive circle. So I think it's all about combinations combinations and a few things that we need to sort out on um, on the defensive side. Well, the important thing is that you've won this one here and a great way to announce yourself as the coach of the Spa Pro Tears with lifting your very first trophy. <laughs> yeah, um, that I can say um, just thank you for everyone's um, support and, um, yeah, and the talent I got from God. It's my, I, I can only thank him. It's uh, my it's strength every day. So yeah, thank you to everyone in the country with all the support that we get. It's just um, enormous and um, I thank everyone. Congratulations, coach. Thank you very much. That is uh, the coach, Dorit Badenhorst, then uh, the coach of the Spa Pro Tears. And of course, uh, she's going to be uh, lifting the trophy or rather getting her side's name engraved on the trophy as we're now going to wait for the captain of uh, the Spa Pro Tears, Captain Bongi Wemsomi, to come into shot as uh, she goes through the dignitaries, of course, Debo Kholeboto Sibejo, who is the outgoing president of African Netball, Ms. Nokawe Mafu, the Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Deputy or rather President of Nepal SA, Cecilia Mulukwane, Western Cape MEC for Cultural Affairs and Sport, Ms. Andrew Mere, and the acting COO of SASCOG, Patience Shukwambane, as well as Councillor Akwebu from the Western Cape. Well, it is uh, the first time you're having the new coaches here, so how is the side settled with the new coach after Norma Plummer in Dorit Badenhorst as well as Dumisani Chauge? I can just with pride say Dort and Demi has been amazing for us and I think it's just the start of the new things. I know they had so much pressure as well, obviously stepping into such big shoes uh, with Norma. She has been working with us and things have been going well, but I think they've been with us uh, long enough to be able to implement um, whatever that she would have done with us. And I think it, this is really a start of great things. They're from South Africa and literally the girls, for us, from our side, it was just really to respect them and listen to their calls and try and do it on the course. And I'm really excited with the girls great bunch 
bunch of uh, some young kids coming through and it's been an exciting journey and I think it's going to be a great one. Yes, how has the five days been for you guys? Of course, starting with that huge victory against Lesotho, but also getting some new caps into your side. So how has everything worked out during the duration of the African Nepal Cup? To be honest, starting from training, it was really hard because we've had a couple of things that we had to work on. And obviously, some, um, at some point, legs got tired. But uh, I think we were really great in knowing when to uh, rest the girls and really uh, when to get back to training. And in fact, really, I am so pleased with uh, the new cabs stepping in. And I think we are in an environment where we just want the girls uh, to come into this environment and really be excited so, can they, so they can play well. And I think we've gave, we gave them that support. And uh, it's such a, a privilege to sit on the side and watch them really shining because it's going to be great for netball going forward and this is what we are about but to be honest uh, credit to the coaches if the girls know that the coaches trust them it's easy to just step on court and really do the work and I think that's what uh, they got from the coaches on the side again such a pleasure and a privilege to lead such a great side it's been amazing well, a chance to avenge that bronze medal match defeat at the hands of England next month. You ready for that? Um, to be honest, I think that will be such a great time for us to really just step on court and really prove that we can do better. So it will be um, an amazing time to see what we can do. And again, coming back to this one, we lost about four or five senior girls that were in this team at World Cup. And these girls stepping in and really still being champs, um, African champs, amazing. So we're looking forward to November and see what we can do against England. It's just all exciting and it's a great build up for 2023. World Cup coming to our home soil. Well, before we get to November, let's deal with the business of the day, and that is uh, the trophy. So I'm going to leave you to go lift the trophy and celebrate with your ladies. A big congratulations to uh, Bongi Wemsomi as well as uh, the South African team, the Spa Pro Tears, with that trophy going to be handed over by the former president of Nepal Africa. Well, five days of intense action, 21 matches, and in the end, it was the Spa Proteas that triumphed at the Africa Netball Cup, unbeaten towards the entire journey. And as hosts, this is a good dress rehearsal for Cape Town 2023, where the World Cup will be hosted. Well, where to next for the Spa Proteas? It's next month, where they're going to be facing off against England in a test series. And thereafter, it is the quad series where they'll face New Zealand, Jamaica, as well as England. From the Belleville Velodrome and the rest of the crew here. It's goodbye for now. It's been a phenomenal week and I certainly hope you've enjoyed the action as much as we have.